It's now time for Ask the Expert. If you have been trying to cut carbs to lose weight, new research indicates you may not have to do that anymore. Oh, no. Researchers found it is best to strategize when you eat and how you eat your carbs. Registered dietitian Lori Meyer joins us now this afternoon to help break all this down. What are the carbs and why are they a problem for us when we try to lose weight? Well, you know, carbs are things we need for energy. They're going to provide energy, and these are going to be fruits and vegetables, grains, cereals, legumes, and also sugar and sweets. Mm -hmm. Um, the problem is we each need carbohydrate, but we need varying amounts, and some of us need more, some less, and so the people who can really tolerate a lot of carbs are going to do really well. Some people don't tolerate them at all, and so they have to be really careful about the type of carbohydrate that they choose. When you say because, don't tolerate, tolerate. Well, because it you're puts gonna, weight on it, them? It can put weight on, it can increase diabetes, high blood oh. pressure, heart disease, and the reason for that is that when you eat carbohydrate, it raises your blood sugar, mm -hmm. and some of them raise more than others, and then you're going to release insulin, and it's that insulin that tries to get rid of that blood sugar and it actually converts that sugar into fat. So that's how you end up gaining weight. So I have two plates here. The typical diet, for me, you know, where you, for where, you, <laughs> where you have your sugars, your refined carbohydrates, mm -hmm. those are going to be really fast carbs. They're high glycemic. They're going to raise those insulin levels, and they're going to make you gain more weight. Hmm. So the first rule is try to eat more of the slow carbs, the, the low glycemic, high fiber carbs, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes. This looks great. And so, and and, and you notice just the color alone. Uh -huh. I mean, is we, we want to eat with color. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but is there any strategy on how to eat these carbs, especially if you're saying, you know, weight gain is the it is a great indicator that you may not be really you good might with carbs. Not be tolerating them right. as well as somebody else. Well, the first there are four different strategies to do, and the first strategy is to eat carbs later in the day. The research mm. shows that if you eat a protein breakfast and a more of a protein lunch okay. and save your carbs for dinner, you're actually going to have better blood sugar control, lower insulin really? levels, and less chance of storing your your carbs as fat. So breakfast I have a, an omelet, lunch I have a salad with spinach, dinner is where we get the potatoes and the meat and mm. the vegetable. So that's strategy one. Number two is do following the same plate, your mm -hmm. meat, your vegetable, potato, eat the meat first. Okay. Oh. And then if you can get at least 10 to 15 minutes later to eat your carb, that research shows that right? that's, <laughs> that that's going to wait 10 to 15 minutes while I'm sitting. But, but at least eat the meat first, then the vegetable, then the carb, and that's going to actually help lower those insulin levels as well. Hmm. The third is cook al dente. Mm -hmm. The less you cook the, the carb, the less it's going to break down, the slower it's going to break down, so it's not going to raise that blood sugar and raise the insulin. So here I have a pasta al dente. And the fourth is cook your carbs and then chill them before you eat them. And that's where you increase the resistant starch. This is a starch can't be digested by the body. And so it actually is going to decrease um, fat storage, increase satiety, and, and really help you with weight so loss eat all a in cold all. So this is a potato? cold potato salad, a cold sweet potato, cold ah, lentil okay. salad, cold rice salad. Those might be better for you. Okay. All right, good information as always. You have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can always leave us a voicemail. So is it